All right, cool. Let's see. Today, uh, for the Indie Contributors Working Group call, uh, we have on the agenda um, just talking about the Indie Charter and, and changes related to the to the Indie Project. Uh, the um, we'll hear uh, some updates on the Indie Read Replica project. Um, thanks for joining, Brian. Um, and then we'll hear if, if there are any updates on the Ubuntu 22.04 upgrade. Uh, looks like Renata isn't here for Indie Bezu updates, but if she joins, it'd be great to hear about that. Um, and then if there are any updates that anyone's aware of on Trust Did Web. And let's see, we're recording this call. It'll be posted on the on the meeting page. And we are following the anti-trust uh, policy and the Hyperledger Code of Conduct. Uh, let's see, are there any announcements that anyone would like to make uh, before we jump into the agenda? All right. So in terms of some the indie project updates, I think everybody um, received emails about this to the indie um, mailing list. But this is basically basically just to to go over it here as well. And and Stephen, if you have anything to add, also that um, in a, a similar pattern to the the Aries. Um, the Aries repo, uh, we now have this indie repo. Um, which defines the uh, technical steering committee. Um, there's the uh, TSC document um, in here that defines the, the current list of TSC members, duties and processes, kind of formalizing what has been um, a less formal process. And then there's also laying out the maintainers. Um, there's a uh, security file as well that lists the, the members of the Indie Project security team. Uh, let's see. So yeah, just a, a note that this exists now and um, this is the home base for, for a lot of those resources. Uh, Stephen, did you have other things you wanted to add about this? No, um, I think we're done our work. Um, David Boswell and the staff have what they need. So I think we're all set. Um, and then the rules for evolving and changing things are are laid mm -hmm. out. So yeah, I think we're set. Yeah, awesome. Cool. Does anybody have anything that they wanted to add or any questions related to um, this repo or these updates? All right. Then uh, let's see, Brian, would would you like to give your updates or, or should we come back to that later in the agenda? Hi everyone, um, I'm Brian. And I would like to give the updates now. Sounds good. Would you like to screen share? Yeah, sure. Um, um, hello, can you guys move on? Um, I need to All set right. up my screen. Oh, sure. Yes, we can definitely come back to those updates. Let's see. All right. Uh, so 
for the Ubuntu 22.04 upgrade, uh, I think the the last we heard is that um, waiting on a review of this um, PR. Uh, let's see, any any updates related to this one? I don't have any updates. I was away last week and I've been uh, busy with other things, unfortunately, but uh, that is still on my radar. Okay. Sounds good. Let's see. And then, yeah, not sure we'll be able to hear any Indie Bezu updates today. Uh, let's see. Unless anybody has anything that they are aware of and do want to jump in with. No, I haven't heard anything lately about it. I think they were considering a name change to Indian Bezu. Oh. Um, huh. But that's about all I've heard lately. Right, right. And the work on, on revocation recently, but right, um right. Yeah, cool. Yeah. Well, that was included in that. the that was included in the uh, quarterly report that revocation using um a non-ZKP approach, but uh revocation um was being worked on. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Yeah. Let's see. And then lastly uh, is anyone aware of of updates related to trusted web work that they would like to share? Yeah, so that work is going to um, happen at DIFF, um, the Identity and Discovery Working Group um, has uh, agreed to allow uh, or, or to create a work item for did TDW. So we'll be moving the repositories to DIFF for the next phase of incubation. Um, there are now three implementations. A Go implementation has been added by um, somebody in the Netherlands. So we now have three implementations that are um, have some you know shared components, which is or shared test cases. So that's good. Um, and then the plan is to start working towards getting the TDW implemented in um, uh, uh Akapai. Um, there is also ongoing discussion about diff did standardization um generally and um the idea of merging uh the log feature into did web itself so that um did tdw just becomes did web with um both a a uh maintained did web file plus the log available. So I think that's a, a potential move that could happen, but um, we'll get to the next phase, which is um, pushing the the trusted did web, trusted web um, spec and implementations moved over to diff. Right. Exciting. Thank you for those updates. Rob. So back to Brian now. How are you doing, Brian? Yeah, sure. I can I can start now. Okay, good. Sounds That's good. Fun. I'll pass the screen share back to you. Oh, okay. Um, I'm the main C for the Hyperledger Indurate Replica project. So I'm working on implementing the Hyperledger Indurate project. All right. So um, in the context of uh, the Indy Ledger, the Read Replica is a web service that holds copies of the ledger. So. Um, just see it as a convenient way for clients to access the ledger, okay? So, and this is meant to be run within a secure network, like within an enterprise or some corporation. So, also, so I've been working on this since July and um, we have made some progress and um, would like to um, show you guys the architecture of the read replicas. 
So this is the this is the best eye view of the architecture. So we have a demo that reads from the ledger and stores it in the Elasticsearch DB. Okay, um, I would also like to point out that this is based on the in the scan architecture. Okay, so we are building from that. So and uh, then there's an API that queries the Elasticsearch database and returns that to the clients. Clients can query the API. Okay, so and this is um, our architecture for scaling. Okay, um, so so at this point, um, we have um, endpoints for searching deeds and names. Okay, and um, general transaction lookup. Okay, so that's what we have to suppose, suppose for right now. Um, So um, this is the introduction. Um, I don't know if um, we'll be interested in seeing like seeing it running right now. Um, Steven. Why don't you just give a, a quick status of where you are right now, just how much you've you've got of this done, and then um, what's next? Okay. Um, so like I said, uh, we have support for um, querying deeds, names, and um, just the transactions by ID. Okay, so um, we plan on support. We plan on supporting the querying of attributes, schemas, credit devs, and um, replication registries. Um, also, um, we also plan on retrieving the state of a modified name. So, like when a name has been over updated over time, we would like to resolve that and return that also um we also have a plan on making it more making the service more user friendly okay so um once we look into the documentation and uh, creating some scripts that would uh, allow allow us to set up test networks and just allow everyone to be able to test this okay Um, one question that we've had, and uh, Sam Wondershar, you might know, I don't know from your indie looks, but um, where the code is that calculates a state based on multiple transactions of the same object. So if you've got that discussion we had about um, redaction where you can redact a, a, um, a single transaction, but the state gets affected by redacting that transaction. So where is the, the state calculated? Do you know where that is? Is that part of plenum and, or is that any node? I assume it's node, I guess, because plenum is just the consensus. Um, do you have any idea where that is and what it does, how complicated it is? Um, no, no, I don't think so. Yeah, I, I, sorry, that was for Shar. I just wondered if Shar or, or Kim or Wade might know that. Yeah, not just off the top, off the top of my head. I, I'd have to dig yeah. into it more. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Um, I've been thinking about how we might do this. I suspect um, the <laughs> easiest thing would be to simply return um, the last object um, because in the vast majority of things, um, there's never an edit done to the object. And, and mm -hmm. the only one that would change is the, the NIM. And it, 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 it just replaces it. It doesn't sort of evolve at all. So I, I think we might be safe in simply returning the last one, not because that's technically right, but because it's practically right. 
Um, so anyway, um, Sam and I will go over this, Brian, but I think it might be easier than than we first had been thinking, Sam and I had been thinking about. So I'll be proposing that in the um, as, as the first step um, to make it a lot easier to just get the completed done. Um, Wade, the other thing I'm going to have to do, and I might have to call on you, uh, I, I think I should be able to do it, but um, one of the things Brian's doing is he's starting up Vaughn Network, and um, I, I wanted to find an example where, and I think it's in the CLI, where we load up, you know, all of the objects. I don't know if you know of a script, a Vaughn Network script, or a, well, an Indie CLI script that loads up a full set of schema cred def examples. Are you aware of one of those? No. Okay. It should be, should be straightforward. To... Yeah, exactly. Well, doing the cred def through, yeah, doing the cred def through on network requires, um, some Python code that it's got in internally. So okay. you can't you can't load a cred def via a script. Really? Mm. Well, you so, have to know the sequence number. Yeah, it it would have to be it would have to be pre baked. Like you'd have to create it yeah. and then pull it and then basically hard code it. Yeah. But we're the what he's doing is um, let me check this with you. What he's doing is starting up the the ledger and then loading it via script, so it should be identical every time. Mm -hmm. Yep. If he uses seeds for NIMS, then creates a schema. The schema is going to be always the same transaction number, and therefore the yeah okay. I think that should work. But anyway, I'll I'll be looking for that, and then uh, Brian, that will give you a bunch more objects in your ledger. Right now, Brian's working off a ledger with two NIMS in it, <laughs> the two DIDs, pretty small. OK. Yeah, um, so uh, that's it. All right. Thanks, Brian. Yeah, thank you so yeah, much yeah. for those updates. Let's see, looks like that is everything on our agenda for today. Does anybody have anything else related to what we've talked about or any new topics to bring uh, in our remaining time? We can jump over to the Indicio webinar. Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Cool. Great. Well, thanks everyone for joining. Thanks for the the project updates, Brian, and and thanks everyone else for your your updates as well. We'll see you all in two weeks.